if I look tired, it's because I am. Uh, many of you probably know this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a firefighter, and I also live in Florida, and we were just hit by a hurricane, Hurricane uh, Ian. And so I just wanted to give an update about that. Uh, luckily, I didn't have to work the day of the storm, but I went in the morning after yesterday, and I worked my 24-hour shift, and it was rough. I was up all night just running different things uh, related to the storm. Uh, the, the funny thing about the storm is... Uh, where I live, I live somewhat inland, about a you know, 20, 30 minute drive from the coast. And it was windy here, but it wasn't even raining that much. And I didn't think it was much of a storm. Uh, one of my biggest concerns uh, was the uh, tool shed I just built a couple months ago. I was worried that it was going to fly away in the storm. What I ended up doing was digging deep holes, uh, putting these wood posts in them, filling them with cement, and then putting multiple screws into the shed to hold them down. Uh, I did that like the day before the storm. It turns out I didn't need to do that because the one tree that fell on my lot fell on the shed, holding it down. So I've lived in Florida for uh, just over 30, 32 years now. Uh, and uh, the first year I moved in, we had Andrew, which was a big uh, storm, a uh, big hurricane. I was 11 at the time. And uh, just so, so when this storm was coming through, I was actually chatting with one of my uh, Patreons uh, who lives over in India. And I was saying to him, you know, this storm isn't that bad. Uh, and out of the and he, he was wondering how often uh, we get hit by storms and hurricanes come by Florida all the time. Uh, but Florida is a big state. And so unless you're getting hit directly by the storm. Uh, a lot of the storms, even though a hurricane comes by Florida, doesn't mean that it's necessarily hitting me. Lots of times it's the other coast. And in fact, in the 30 years I've lived here, Andrew was a big one, and Irma five years ago was a very big one. And then about 15 years ago, we had Charlie and Francis kind of go by, uh, which hit some other places pretty good, but, you know, wasn't too much. Just windy here by us, you know, knocking down trees. In fact, when uh, Irma came through back in, was it 2017, uh, I actually did a video a uh, few days after where that was a lot of rain and trees in my backyard were twisted and knocked down um, and I had two holes in my roof. So here I am sitting here going, this, this storm isn't that bad. Uh, in fact, I kept power this entire time. Uh, a lot of my neighbors just down the street don't have power, uh, but I was able to keep power this time, which was nice because last time, uh, in, you know, five years ago, I went 14 days without power because the line to my house was knocked down. So hurricanes come by Florida a lot, but it's not like an, a yearly thing that something this bad comes by. Um, in fact, my sister-in-law lives in North Carolina. In the last five years, she's been hit by more hurricanes than I have. Um, but again, I, I was telling people, oh, this storm isn't that bad. But then I start getting texts from people uh, with pictures where by the coast, and I'll put some pictures here up on the screen, they had over five feet of water. And it wasn't from the rain. It was from the storm pushing the, the, the water from the Gulf of Mexico up into the city. So uh, there was a lot of flooding. Lots of people lost their homes. Supposedly, uh, 15 of the guys I work with, I, I don't know exactly who yet, uh, have completely lost their homes. So for me, little shed damage is nothing. You know, and I'm hoping that once I get that tree off there, I can kind of pop that back in place and fix it. Um, but a lot of people completely lost everything. So very blessed. But I wanted to give you guys an update in case you were, uh, you know, if you're worrying, because I've had a few viewers ask me how I was doing. Uh, so I said I kept power. I did lose internet during the storm. Uh, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to post this video, uh, when I'm going to get internet back. Um, but hopefully in a couple days I'll post it so you guys will get this update. Sorry for the wobbly cam. I I'm super tired, but I wanted to film something. I'm super tired and I should be sleeping, but I tried laying there for two hours. And even though I only got one hour of sleep last night, um, it's just hard to sleep during the day. Uh, my wife and kids, they were nice. They, they left while I was trying to sleep and went to my in-laws so that I could rest. Uh, but after two hours laying there, I just got up and decided to come out and uh, film this video. So I'm good. Uh, pray for the people uh, who've lost their homes. And um, yeah, keep on watching. I have plenty of videos. Like I said, I film videos ahead in advance. So even if my house was demolished, I still have videos coming out over the next couple of weeks. So I always think of you guys ahead of time. Uh, so sorry again for the wobbly video, but I just wanted to get something recorded. I hope that you have a great day. And another thing, again, I'm tired, so I, I don't even know how much sense I'm making, uh, but just, just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Um, yeah, 
the other things about the last storm five years ago, the Hurricane Irma, was how bad the wind was. My yard was completely covered with branches, big branches, and it took forever to clean. And again, I had no power, so I had no AC, and it was so hot, <laughs> so hot and miserable. Uh, luckily, this time, uh, there aren't too many big branches, a lot of palm fronds. My wife and son cleaned up a bunch of them while I was at work yesterday, and um, so the rest isn't too bad. And the weather's been beautiful. It's nice today. Yesterday, the day after the storm, was gorgeous and breezy and cool, the nicest weather we've had in six months. So that's a plus. Um, yeah. What are you talking about, buddy? I'm naming the trees. You're naming the trees? <laughs> 